what's up now? Now, 2024 is exposing black men left and right, man. These entertainers, it's ridiculous, right? But what be going on in the entertainment, that shit be going on in the street. That's the crazy part. Now, DJ Academics, allegedly, Meek Mill had to send the police to DJ Academics' house. Now, I don't know how true that is. But if you've been paying attention, DJ Academics been turning his ass up. Back-to-back -back videos, people. Back-to-back -back videos, all right? And, I mean, tearing his ass up, bro. Because basically, in that paperwork, from my understanding, this Rodney cat, he's not saying the names, but he's describing these people he's talking about, which if you put two and two together, it equal four. Yeah, it equal four. Like, like four balls, you know what I'm saying? A set of nutsack over here and a set of nutsack over here, that's four people. That's four. You put two and two together, that's four. Now, <laughs> they said a Philly rapper that was what? Dating Nicki Minaj. We we know that's Meek Mill. And then he's like the Usher cat, but he didn't say Usher name. He said, yeah, the guy that did the Super Bowl. We know he just did that Super Bowl. He was looking zesty over there. What? He was looking zesty on there, people. I still want to know who gave Usher the Hurt to the Peas. Because allegedly, Chili ended up with the Hurt to the Peas. A lot of people had the Hurt to the Peas. And now it's coming out that Dr. Sebi. And this is supposed to be allegedly true because uh, shout out to Storm Monroe. He had the video. And Dr. Sebi. Out his own damn mouth, Dr. Sebi made rest in paradise. He says that. He says, left eye came to see me. And she says she was scared to tell me that when she came to visit me, she had the hurt to the peas. And allegedly, he got rid of it. Now, when I'm saying allegedly all the time, let me tell you. <clears throat> YouTube advised you to say that shit because you know what? Even if it's true. Don't ask me why. I ain't make up the rules. But see how there's rules out here, people? Man, said just fucking rules out here. Now, all this exposing of these black men. Let me tell you what Gene, did. Gene Dill said. I think he was on Art of Dialogue. He said, yeah, Diddy groomed Usher. Yeah, to the point where one day the boy had to go to the hospital. Man, said he had a what? He had a for what? You figured out. He had to go to the damn hospital. Gene Dill said shit. Ask his mama why he had to go to the hospital. Matter of fact, ask Usher why he had to go to that damn hospital. Because he was promised a deal and dough. Huh? After he, after Diddy was like, take that, take that, was sticking a dildo up his ass. Message, you see what I'm saying? They getting deals and dough, people. Put it together. <clears throat> this shit is, this shit is outrageous. I've even seen a, a video floating around where Jay-Z's on stage back in the day. Not this new Jay-Z we see. Back in the day when he kept the when he kept the line in like Steve Harvey and shit. He kept his butters in. Huh? Huh? And here comes Diddy running up on the stage. And see, before I keep going, you know back then they wore baggy pants and they had a deep sag with those baggy pants. I mean the belt be right up under the butt crease. Right exactly. So here. Here goes Diddy run up on the stage and bap, bap, right on his, 
right on his buttocks, people. And you can see Jay-Z arm, he's kind of playing it off like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? Why he looking the other way, you know, stay talking and whatnot. And I mean, he let that man hit him twice and he ain't even flinch. He was used to that, allegedly, people. Come on, man. Huh? You got to be used to that shit. We ain't on damn football field, fool. <sighs> See? And it's like they wait until they get, they, they, they <clears throat> get rid of the real ones, the more realer men. They killing them off. Or blackball the ones that not going. You see what I'm saying? So to speak, they ain't going for that shit. They get blackballed and shit. But if you want your name out there, this has been said for years. I've been saying that for years. Before this internet shit. You know what I'm saying? You, If your name is still popping, your music still getting played, you still starring in movies and da-da-da, this and that, you doing something strange for that for that piece of change. And that's just what it is. That's what it is. <clears throat> that's how it always been. And what we perceive in the eyesight, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, what it look like is what it is, and what it is is what it look like. Nobody should be confused. <clears throat> that's my point. If you ever had any doubt in your mind that, no, nah, that stuff ain't true. Everybody don't do that. They don't do that stuff. If you still think that years before this is all coming out, that it's a lie. And back then, we heard about other people that it was a lie. You sadly mistaken. I got to reevaluate a lot of things. Straight up. And I'm talking about even back to Tupac. But I'm not going to talk about deceased people. But, or bring them up because they're, they're not here. So I'm going to leave that alone. But I did. I had to sort of kind of re reevaluate some shit. Because I'm like, hold up. You see? What the hell going on? Um, People? Let me tell you something. Ain't no way Meek Mill can get out of this shit. He can, I, <laughs> nope, nope, that's your ass, man. You should have stayed with Nicki Minaj. That's too bad. And I heard he was hitting on her, huh? He was trying to beat on her and shit. She wasn't having that shit. She left. That's all legend. But that's what has been said. Hmm. People, they getting deals. They making that dough. But they ain't going to continue making that dough. It'll end real fast. <clears throat> It'll end real fast if they don't get a deal dough stuck up their ass. That's what it's looking like. Huh? Hey, you better ask somebody. I remember Biggie said, you look so good, I'll suck on your daddy's D. Now, <clears throat> all these people that have party hardy all night long with Diddy are getting exposed right now, people. All they shit gonna come out. <clears throat> Anybody that's been at Diddy parties, Chris Brown, they, they trying to say that Chris Brown name is in the paperwork. I remember Diddy had this Big ass stupid bed in his backyard. I mean, it was humongous. He's on top of the bed. And there's other people up there too. Because it's like humongous. And Chris Brown is on the ground though. <clears throat> and he's like, you know, trying to make him come up on the bed. And Chris is looking like he really don't want to come on that fucking bed. He like making him come up on the bed. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, 
that's floating around the internet today too. And I'm just like, see, the price you have to pay. Kicking it with Diddy. He's a gatekeeper. Jay-Z's a gatekeeper. You see what I'm saying? Look, people are trying to say that Jay-Z name finna come up in some shit, some wild ass accusations. And he's next to get taken down. That's what they saying. So if Diddy, okay, Diddy got taken down. Now, if Jay-Z gets taken down, who else is left with that much power and control over these artists, even if they ain't your artists? They, these people look up to those type of people. So... If you take down Diddy and Jay-Z, there's nobody else. Huh? There will there will be people to take their place, but I'm just saying. That's it changes again after that. You see what I'm saying? Boy, this shit crazy, people. What y'all think about this shit? Deals and dough. <laughs> Stuck up your ass. Is that the price that people want, though? It's looking like... See, that's why I always say, when we see them get in the game, that's the real them. When they start changing a couple years down the line, nobody made you do that shit. That was also you. Hmm? You just never let it come out when you was in the street. But since... When people get in the, uh, in the in entertainment business or whatever in the industry, they feel like, hey, everybody's a little wild and crazy. It ain't going to matter if I get wild and crazy and, and, and do what I always wanted to do was to get a dildo stuck up they ass. Uh-uh, not my ass. They ass. <laughs> people. What is going to become of this? Hmm? It's all Diddy's fault, huh? No, it ain't all his fault. It's all they fault. Because they, they, look, look. The shit that came out about Cassie and all this shit, they knew that shit. Huh? They knew what Diddy be on. And they still attend them parties and participate. Let me tell you something else Gene Deal said about Usher. He says one day Diddy was naked with a robe on. And uh, Keith Sweat, shout out to Keith Sweat. Keith, one of Keith Sweat baby mamas was over there. And allegedly, from how I was listening to it, allegedly, and Kim Porter was there. You see what I'm talking about? And and make she rest in paradise. So Keith Sweat, allegedly Keith Sweat, one of his baby mamas, gave Diddy some fellatio. That's how he put it. Some fellatio. Right then and there. Usher knocks on the door. On the door. Bing, bing. Gene Dill said, and he's talking to the camera. He was like, Usher, you remember? And you knocked on the door? And I went to open the door for you? And you went and kissed that woman right in the damn mouth. I said, what the fuck? That just gave Diddy fellatio. But then I got to thinking, I said, well, Gene Dill, you had to been with them shits too. Because you know every damn thing. You know about the dildos and whatnot Diddy be allegedly having. You know about him walking around naked and shit. Why the hell were you there? I know why you was there, because you worked for him at one point in time. But why the hell did you stay around? I remember when Cassie was getting her ass beat and all this bullshit. You just, you know, hey, hey, all money ain't good money. All these motherfuckers are sick and deranged, all right? Sick and deranged people need to be locked away. Why is Diddy still out? Huh? They ain't got enough on him yet? I mean, he's allegedly drugging people. 
He didn't allegedly shot a woman in the fa in the face. Shot a woman in the face. Allegedly, huh? I mean, come on, man. He didn't ruin people's lives because all because once he got in trouble, yeah, it stopped every motion he had going on. That's every business endeavor. People was pulling away from him because they don't want. They look. They knew them big businesses. They knew this shit finna hit the fan and let me get away from you now because once all this shit come out, I don't. Uh, uh, uh They gonna forget that I even was partners with you on some shit. That's how early they got out the game, away from his ass. Motherfuckers didn't even want to sit by this man at the Oscars, huh? Huh? He was banned from the Oscars. <laughs> Now, the question, did he do it? I don't think we have to ask that no more people. Damn, I don't think we have to ask that no more. Did he do it? You fucking right he did it. Huh? And he loved every minute of it. Now, this man is sick and a psycho, man. And, 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 and he loves them coca leaves. They say he, he ain't even going to hit that shit unless he got a $100 bill. They said the man will wait till, till he get that $100 bill. That must have been his good luck type of thing. It got to be a $100 bill. I guess that made him feel better about doing the devil's dandruff. Because he was like, he'll probably be like, I can see him now. A dollar. Five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, fifty dollars. Uh uh. I need the highest bill that is made on earth, and that's that hundred dollar bill. That's that hundred dollar bill. Now you feel like Scarface or shit. Can you imagine going to a party and it's all type of shit in your drink, mollies and whatever else. Shit that had your body numb, like from the waist down type shit. All of this is functioning up this way. But down there, if y'all paid attention to how Meek Mill was standing in that pool, it looked like he was intoxicated and the bottom half of him was numb. Look how he was standing. Unless he just got a dildo stuck up his ass message, I'm just saying. Or he was saying, hey, daddy, I'm ready. Now, when they went to that all-white party, little baby. You see what I'm saying? Little baby. They all on the jet. Oh, boy, like Mike Rubin, he like, I'm going to give you a hug. I'm going to give you a hug. You know what I'm saying? Little baby over there recording just a giggling like a little kid. And, and he talking to him. And he's like, you too. And who was over there? Meek Mill. People. This is the new wearing the dress type thing. You know, like Cat Williams say, you know, wearing that dress. This is the new wearing the dress. Kicking it with Diddy. It's been said that Diddy say, I'm throwing a party. You can't wear no drawers. You can have on clothes, but you can't have on no drawers. Now, how the hell? What the fuck? People. Why isn't Diddy in jail? Hmm? That's my damn question. Why isn't he in jail? <laughs> Good question, right? People, get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel about this. The Usher part, though. Gene Deal said he, hey, he had to go to the hospital. Why you had to go to the hospital, Usher? Huh? See, I knew something was up. Because, see, he Usher was too smooth when he took them shoes off. You know how when he was in that, that video, I forgot which one it was. But he took them shoes off. 
real smooth. See, Diddy must have taught him that shit, how to take them shoes off like that. He did. Mm -hmm. Right before he get in the bed with him. Allegedly. Because when they wake up, they be fighting over the what? People say it with me now. The old Frosted Flakes. Fucking Frosted Flakes. Y'all remember Diddy said that shit? Right there in front of Kevin Hart. And Kevin Hart wasn't making it no better. You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> People, what do you guys think about this Diddy situation? I mean, the boy is a hot mess. Then he goes to his, his daughters, twin daughters are cheerleaders. And the son was there too at the school. And they taking pictures as if none of this is going on. Like, they ain't talking about my daddy. That's somebody else they talking about. Like, nothing's going on. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I would be embarrassed, bro, if motherfucker was saying my daddy had did all this shit. Then the rumors on top of that about him having something to do with Kim Porter's death. They fucking mama. Hey, hey, when you a demon, though, you can not spew out demon, demon kids. Huh? If the, if if I was in a position and it was all these rumors about and I'm putting two and two together that you might have had something to do with my mother's death, I, I man, I would have to get away from that fool before I heard him. Send him to the upper room. He, he'll be I'll be sending him to go see my mama so he can apologize. Huh? And then I'll say, hey, ask, once you apologize, ask God, can you come back? If he says no, then you stay your punk ass up there. Or wherever he send your ass. Huh? Hmm. This is Exposure City. You hear me? And everybody that Diddy has been affiliated with, has been associated with, it's crazy. See, Fabulous on, on Drink Champs, he wasn't having that shit. I mean, Diddy made everybody feel awkward, bruh. It was an awkward-ass moment. It's like, bruh, what are you doing? Why do you want people to party with you so goddamn much? You's a fucking freak elite. You know what I'm saying? God damn, you be freaking and, 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 and leaving you. You be leaking everywhere, too, when you're freaking, bruh. And, 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 and you're leaving behind germs, bruh. Like hurt to the peas and shit, allegedly. Huh? I told people don't drink that Ciroc. It turns you into a ballerina. I've been saying that. Don't drink that Ciroc. It turns you into a ballerina. You find yourself waking up like this. Do 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 do. Yeah. That was Meek Mill. Bunny hopping. And a lot of men will say, that's the black woman fault. Getting raised by a single mother. Right? That ain't got nothing to do with the black woman. You know what I'm saying? Unless she's grooming him to be that way. But uh-uh. That ain't got nothing to do with no black woman. Not no shit like that. Let me tell you what they got to do with. Another black man taking advantage of some young black men that, that ain't never had shit. Man, that's what that is. Diddy was born in money. His daddy was a kingpin. I'm talking about up there on the heights with uh, Frank Lucas and shit like that. Yeah, he was born in the money. And he knew with money comes power. And, and, and look, I think he got addicted, people. I think Diddy got addicted to seeing people want so bad. A dream, whatever the fuck. Basically doing anything for, for the money, bruh. 
like walking your ass to go get him cheesecake and shit. What's up with them? What's up? <laughs> what happened with them guys? Shout out to Babs. You know what I'm saying? Because she the only one still doing something. You feel me? This shit crazy as hell, people. I, I, I'm sort of shocked, and then I'm not. Because we all know for a long time now, unless you just blocked it out, that stuff like this has been going on. Now, look at the baby. When he first came out, he, he had a fucking diaper on. He was calling himself Baby Jesus. He just had a diaper, a pamper. And I think he had a, a pacifier or some shit. Like, bruh. They be already with the shits, though. You see what I'm talking about? They be already with the shits. Nah, it's a it's a picture of Rick Ross and Soulja Boy. Yeah, Rick Ross and Soulja Boy. Now, we know about the picture with 50 Cent and Soulja Boy. I mean, pants down here. You see they draws, and here go 50 Cent like this. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think, like, 50 Cent was mentoring him or something like that. I thought he had signed him at one time or some shit. They own a fucking magazine, the cover of a magazine. I think it was, like, Source or some shit. Now we got uh, Soldier Boy met up with Rick Ross. Like, yesterday or, like, a few days ago or whatever. I'll just say that. But, but they've been taking pictures, and, and here's Rick Ross, like, this close, whispering or telling Soldier Boy something. Like, it looks odd and strange. Odd and strange. They want to be down so bad that they are willing to let powerful men other men either suck them up or they suck them up or they putting something in that butt or they getting something in their butt. And that's just what it is. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. <laughs> but something's going on here. Okay. Something's going on here, people. They are taking down all these men with this money. All these black men with this money. Right? Destroying their ass. And it ain't nothing they can do about it. Ain't nothing they can do about it. Because when did he go to jail? Because he's going to jail. When did he go to jail? What are a lot of them going to do? They're going to be with Mike Rubin ass. Now see, Dolph, young Dolph wasn't trying to get in, the, in or deep in that shit like that. But Yo Gotti did. So if Jay-Z is letting P. Diddy slap him on the butt like that two times, what the hell have your Gotti done since, oh, now he's on Forbes. He reached over 100 million. Um, what have you done, Gotti, to deserve that shit, all that shit? You see what I'm saying? Like, are you doing certain shit with your artists and shit? Did Jay-Z do something to your ass, allegedly? Because I'm trying to tell you. You've been around Jay-Z for quite some time. Quite some time. Well, people, read between the lines. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this in the old comment text. Message.